Hey, I'm going to show you this really cool whiteboard program that is replacing Jamboard. Um, and we're just going to play around in it today because I there's no way you can do a how-to that would be like 400 videos. So I'm just going to show you how FigJam is replacing Jamboard and Google Meet and other things. And it is absolutely awesome. The also good news is it is free for all educators forever. It always will be. And that is great because the number of tools that this whiteboard, um, I want to call it more than that. It's like a, it's an endless canvas. It is amazing. So I'm just going to show you some things you can do with it. There will always be more that I'm not going to show you um, because this is an absolutely amazing tool. So once you make your account um, and you'll want to go to figma.com slash education. So you want to make sure you get a verified educator account because then you get all the toys and all the abilities to it. Um, it does have to be an education account to do that. But once you're set, you are dialed in. And this thing is awesome. So this is my dashboard, kind of my stuff. And you can set up teams and there's lots of things. But I'm, I'm just going to show you how the board itself works so you get a kind of an overview of what it is. So we're going to play and we're going to make a create a brand new one. If I go up to the top up here and it says, add a fig jam board this purple button I'm gonna click it and it's a blank white screen and what I kind of like is it gives you some ideas like ah what do you want to do do you want to make a brainstorming and so it'll give you suggestions of where to start so you don't have to start with just this completely blank one you can go to any one of these templates and go ahead and jump in so I'll let you play with the templates I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that the things you need to know, um, see first is it is nothing but a blank screen and down here are all your toolbars. And that's all we're going to play with today. I'm just going to kind of poke around a little bit to kind of show you what you can do. So you've got your normal cursor. That's where you can point things out. You've got a hand. That'll help you drag and move things a little bit. So if, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm moving my canvas around. The best part about this is it is endless. So I could drag forever in one direction, which is kind of cool. It's different than Jamboard where it was a screen or a slide at a time this is just an infinite thing and you'll see how we'll move that around a little bit the first thing you do need to consider is right up here in this top corner a hundred percent means that I'm zoomed in, zoomed in at full screen I tend to kind of go to about 50 percent um, and you'll see why it gives you a little more space it kind of backs away so you can see more so that's kind of the first thing you can set how close you want to be to it I'm going to go down here towards the bottom and kind of play with some of these tools. So you have your pen. If I click on it, I have my marker and I can choose a color. So let's just do red and I can draw. I can change my size. So I mean, typical kind of whiteboard tools. I have a highlighter, which is really great when you're trying to highlight some text so you can still see through it. This one's fun, your washi tape. So it's kind of like a little, it's like a piece of scotch tape. I just click and drag. But what's really cool about that is I can change the pattern and even cooler is you can upload your own images. So if I went to my desktop, to my files, to me, to any picture of me, I've got a few here. Now when I do my washi tape, they're pictures of me. So you could have students in there. You could have your school logo. It's just kind of cool. It's just kind of a fun thing to make borders. Um, and basically, it's just like little pieces of tape. It's kind of cool. And then, of course, you have your eraser. So you can just click and erase things. You can also hold um, and select all kinds of stuff there at once. So anyhow, I mean, typical, normal tools. You also have post-it notes. And these are like my favorite things. So when I click it, I can type anything I want. And it has my name, so I know who did it. Pretty slick. You can change your colors. Um, you can change your size, your bold. You know, pretty typical things. But this is why I was telling you about this size. Because if I left that at 100, and then I go back to my little hand here and drag things around, that doesn't give me a lot of real estate to do things. So if I went back to here and I want to move things around a little bit, you can see my screen's pretty full. But if you keep that around 50% or so, you just have a little bit more room to deal with. Um, so I'm going to go back to this little handprint down here. I can drag this stuff over to the side. This is why the endless is kind of cool. So my post-its, I could put as many as I want on um, and just type any text I want. Oops, my caps lock is on. 
move them around. So drag and drop activities, pretty typical to Jamboard or any whiteboard. So nothing other than this washi tape is pretty cool. This is where this gets kind of cool. So I'm going to drag this over a little bit. Flow charts. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I would do a whiteboard and I have to create an arrow, find an image. I can go right down here. What shape do I want my center to be? So let's put a circle and I'm going to put it right here in the middle and I can make it you know, however I want, maybe I want it to be red. And this is my main idea. And I want to make that text huge. And I do want to make that a better size though. So let's do this. Now what's really cool, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to really play with this a little bit. And let's just not make it huge. Let's make it extra large. There we go. So in the past, you would have to find an arrow and connect it. If I just click on this, these little blue dots around the side, this is so easy. I just click and it says, what do you want to add? I can go another circle or I can add any one of these shapes. And just by clicking these little arrows, I can make them any shape I want, put my text in, but it gets even better. What if I'm like, oh, I really need to move that. This is so easy. I just click on the picture and drag it and take a look at those lines. It just follows them wherever I put it. It keeps them linked, it keeps my arrows in, and it just makes it so easy. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one over there. And then once again, use that little hand and drag this over. Now, all of a sudden this is looking really big. I just have to go down and make it a little bit smaller now. And now I'm seeing even more of this, once again, endless canvas. It's pretty cool. So this is a great way to do any of your flow charts or diagramming of any kind. Um, it makes it just super easy. And of course, you have text boxes. So all I have to do is say, hello. But keep in mind, I'm zoomed way out. So if I want to see that, I can just zoom in a little bit more, hit my little hand, go over to that text box, go back to my little arrow double click on it and make that huge. There we go. So I can have text boxes. I can change um, my couple of font styles. So pretty typical for, you know, any of the normal whiteboard tools. Um, this is also another thing. So say you're doing a class activity. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over a little bit. And I want everyone like in Jamboard to have their own page in um, Fig Jam, they're called sections. So this little piece right here, if I click this, I can draw a section here. And then this is a separate whiteboard for someone else to work in. So I can even name this Billy. Maybe this is Billy's section. And I can color his section any color I want. So Billy's going to be, let's say, this kind of yellowish color. And now Billy can go ahead and put in any of his things he needs. So maybe he's making a flow chart of some kind. So while he's working, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just click this section right here. And I'm going to copy it and duplicate it. And then this isn't going to be Billy's. This will be Sue's. And Sue's color, I'm going to make hers blue. And then she gets to do her own little kind of whiteboard, her own independent one. So now I can scroll through and see all my students work. And if I need to see more at a time, I can click and drag these, kind of put them wherever I, oops, wherever I want. I could line up all 25 of my kids there and I could have a sample what they need to look at. Here's what I want you to do. Here's your activity. Now each one of you has your own whiteboard space. I want you to work in that. So that's really cool. Another thing is you have this table where you can insert tables. You can actually bring Google Slide or Google um, Sheets in and put the actual copied and pasted cells right in here and the formulas still work. It's pretty slick. Um, all kinds of stamps. So you could give each other thumbs ups. You could give stars. Now keep in mind the reason those are so small is because I'm zoomed out to 25%. So if I want to see them a little better, I just have to zoom in. And these stamps are just fun. They're just kind of fun things for the kiddos to do. There, I'll put my own little picture, my profile picture all over the place. 
But where it gets really fun, I'm going to go ahead and slide this over a little bit more, are all these little add-ons. So if I just hit the little plus for all these widgets, you can brainstorm, you can make, I mean, there's all kinds of polls. This one's really cool because I can say, um, what candy do you like? And I could say Kit Kat. M and M. And I can add more, but I'm going to go ahead and start the poll. And all people have to do is when they go to it, they can vote. So I'll show you how that works here in just a second, too. There we go. So now it's running. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. And just by clicking on it, I'm voting. And here's where it gets cool because you've seen me say, you know, what about when people get in? If I click the share button up here, I can put any email address in. And I can invite them. I'm going to go to that email address. Here's my invite. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put this at a half a screen. I'm going to put this at a half a screen. And I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm going to close this one out. And you're going to see here's the teacher account and here's maybe a student and they're joining. Now they, they do have to have a Figma education account to have all the fun toys and tools so but once your students log in with their gmail account they'll be all set their school account but as you can see i'm going to go ahead and bring mine back out from 100 back down to let's just do 50 percent i'm going to go over to that poll and then i'm going to go to this one this is my student one yeah there we go and we're going to go back up to 50 percent i'm going to go over to that poll And now this person's going to go ahead and vote. Let me close this tour out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And they're going to say M&Ms. It's all completely live. You can see both screens are going. And what's really cool is as I'm over here on my school, on my student account, you can see over on the right-hand side. Now, unfortunately, it's confusing because it's still me and it's the same name. But you can see my mouse move. And when I'm the teacher, I'm over here. I'm the green one moving around. So it's really cool. You can see live action as those students or other participants are moving around. As they create things, it's all live. Live action. So you see everything second by second. There's no delay. It's really, really slick. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize. Oh, and the other thing that's cool, I this is just awesome. We do all these meetings and things, and we try to put a whiteboard into a Google Meet or a Zoom. There's no need for that if you don't need video. All I have to do is go up to this little headphone setup. When I click it, I just joined the meeting, and now this person clicks it and joins, and you're going to hear some feedback here in a second. But now we're both in, and you can hear we're both speaking at the same time because I'm on the same computer, but I can have, let me mute that, I can have an online meeting if I don't need my camera to see me, and we can talk while collaborating on this document, on this infinite canvas. It's so cool. So when you're all done, you just click leave and you leave the meeting, and now they can't hear me. So it's just by clicking that little headphone set up there. It's pretty cool. But let's play with some of these widgets for a second. Let me get this back up to full screen so we can see a little better. So some of these widgets that you can add, honestly, just play around with some of these things, but they are so cool. This is one of my favorite ones. So if I add this photo booth in, and I'm like, you know what, I want you to make a section for yourself, because you don't have to make, remember how I made these two little student sections here? You don't have to pre-make those, you can make students do them. So maybe a student has to come over and say, okay, I'm gonna take these out just so that it's a fresh one. Just click on it, Control C, Control V, I've just made my own section, and I'm going to call this Jeremy. And I said, I want your picture in it. If I added this photo booth widget, I just have to click the button. It's going to bring up my camera. I'm going to take a picture. Three, two, one. It spits this camera picture out like a Polaroid, and I can just drag it right into my thing and resize it. And now I've got my own image in there. So sometimes you want to have the pictures of the kids or maybe showing their pictures so they could do this and maybe they've got this project that they are holding up to show you. 
And it's so easy to add these images in. You don't even have to use any external tools. It's all built right into it. So this little, this little section down here with all of the plugins and widgets and templates is just, and careful, hours of your life will be spent here. You want to do random dice? It's just as easy as clicking them. There are so many little widgets to play with down here. So lots of extra tools, lots of things to look at. Um, and the more button, of course, there's even more. There's a timer. Um, so I've got one running over here. So you could say, oh, I want this to run for a minute and 10 seconds. I just hit play. You get to choose the music you want and then the timer goes off. So it's pretty slick. So there's a lot of things in this. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you every tool. Honestly, it's kind of get in and see what you wanna do with it. But imagine writing some, even almost like your lesson plans in this. Right now we're using slides for a lot of that. Now you could do, here's what I want you to do, and I want every student in this document adding their notes to it or something like that. It's a very cool collaborative free whiteboard tool that I think is just going to get absolutely even more attention and more um, use. So and just like any other Google thing, you can add comments to places. I mean, there's so much to this. I could do, and I probably will do some how-tos on every little tool or bundles of tools, but really this is just get in and take a look at it. It's pretty cool. So you don't have to save it or anything. All I need to do is I can just go back to my little fig uh, Figma account. So over here on the top left, I click that little drop down, go back to my files, and here's that untitled one I just had. So, and if you don't even know where to start, these templates are awesome. There's a ton of them that they're starting to um, do. So they're teacher created, and Figma is making all kinds of them. So I could do, I, you know, I wish, I wonder, maybe just a brainstorming one. I just say use template, it'll open up. I can delete all of this tips out if I don't want them. I just have to highlight everything, hit the delete button. But here I am, I'm gonna zoom back up to about 50%. And now I've got all of these student prompts ready to go. So all I have to do is type things in and I've got this template all set up and ready to go for me. So I'm gonna go down just a little bit smaller so I can see it a little better. And just remember, if you wanna drag things around, just click the hand and that drags the whole canvas around so I can move it sideways, see what's in here, hit the little F over here, go back to my files. Um, they do have this, um, the, the how-tos in here as well. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. So go ahead and create your Figma account and give Fig Jam a try. Just kind of play around and, and have your students get in and explore. Just have them create some stuff and get used to it because it is absolutely one of the most powerful free tools I think that we're going to be using a lot here soon.